Uh, tell me you've never been in a fight without telling me you've never been in a fight. What's up guys, it's your man MP, and today I want to show you the nastiest knockout punch I've seen on a reality TV show. So this was a YouTube clip that got recommended to me. I'll set it up for you guys a little bit here. Basically, there's a guy here who's at a halfway house, and he's waiting to pick up, it's either his girl or his ex-girl. But he's waiting there, and then a truck with another dude shows up that he says he recognizes from the city. They look at each other, but they don't say anything to each other. Like I said, he's there to pick up his girl, and he doesn't know what this guy is there for. One dude is named Curtis, and one dude is named Kevin. What's up, Jordy? Hi. Ooh. Well, that's pretty embarrassing. She said hi and walked right by him and walks directly to the other dude's truck. Just so you guys know, Kevin is the dude with the beard, the backwards hat, and the tattoos. And Curtis is the dude with the beard, backwards hat, and tattoos. This chick Tiffany looks like trouble too. She looks like girls that went to my high school. That's how you do it. I think that's how she does it, bro. When I was in prison, like I it's your weenie ass. You a funny he called ass the man dude. a weenie. Original? I mean, I can't lie. He kind of looks like a weenie right and, uh, here. Yeah, he had no choice but to get out of the truck. I he has to help her with her stuff. He doesn't look happy. Now, just the fact that this dude is still here isn't a good sign. You see him start to yeah. chirp at each yeah. other. The talking, the going back and forth. These are all red flags that something's about to go down. The way this girl Tiffany has her head down and isn't talking to the ex at all. I mean, that's what the new guy should be doing. But he instead decided to do this. Well, you shouldn't have did that, bro. Boom! Down goes Frazier. Now, come on, bro. You had your hands behind your back. Why would you do this? Why would you think this man wasn't going to hit you? Maybe because there was security there? Because security literally just goes A. Yeah, he feels bad now. That dude went down like a sack of potatoes. Bitch, you didn't even get out of the car to see if the guy was okay. Like, is it really hot outside or something? Like, why aren't you checking on this dude? She is not leaving his truck. Like, the dude that came to pick you up from the halfway house is on the ground right now. He's like, fuck this dude. About to run this dude's head over. Meanwhile, the security guard turned on the strobe effect on his flashlight for no reason. You're gonna make this guy throw up. This chick Tiffany just got out of her halfway house about 10 minutes ago. I'm done with Tiffany. Yeah, that's probably a good idea, bro. I mean, if you get knocked out, she's gonna leave your ass laying on the curb. Literally. Now look at this dude. Head's all scratched up. His hat's off. He's got zero power in his legs right now. Dude has noodle legs right now. And her ass is still in the car while this guy's sitting on the curb recovering. I might have to start watching this show more often. Love after lockup. Anyways guys, I appreciate you watching. We cover a lot of random shows. So if you like that type of content, please hit that subscribe, like, and notification button. Thanks again for watching.